Okay guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, today we have a giant specimen seashell unboxing from a mystery box. This is completely filled with a ton of shells. Okay, let's check out the first ones. Holy. What is this guys? Yo. What even? Is that a, is that a uh, sea urchin or a uh, sand dollar? I really can't quite tell. Where is the label for it? It must have dropped somewhere here. We'll find it at the end of the video. That's giant. I'll take out my uh, giant sea urchin and we'll compare it. Check out that. Listen to mine. And I don't even know if I can flick this one. It's like paper, that's crazy. So I'm definitely, yeah, that's definitely a sea urchin. It's a bit confusing because a sand dollar is also the same with the star on the shell. So this is a sand dollar, that's a uh, sea urchin. They look very closely the same. Anywho, let's put that one back. And what do you guys think of my light display here up in my personal collection here? I did it last night, I wired a bunch of LED lights through it, super glued it to the top, and I thought it would look really cool. So let's get back to the unboxing. Let's see what we got. Okay, we have another urchin. Classic, I do love the urchins. And this one, oh, they have, they, every single one does have a, uh, a little note of where it was found and where it's from and everything like that. So this one is called a, Echidnidae, Echidnidae, I think. And it is from Scotland. That's pretty interesting. Not only a small boyo, but I really like it. I'll put that there. What we're gonna do is just leave them like that. This thing's massive. I can't believe how thin it is too. How did that survive travel? That's crazy. Okay, on to the next one. And we have, oh, I know what this is. I actually own one of these. So this is a flared Murex check that out i have one of these and it is actually conveniently sitting out in the open as well mine is quite a little bit bigger and mine has the operculum but that's okay because they are the, both the exact same shell and either way they're a beautiful shell so this one also has a id tag this one is called a maricidae it's a part of a murex and it was netted in deep water in the Philippines. Very cool. I really like those. All right, next one. We have another urchin, sea urchin. Where is the thing for it? The paper is here. Okay, wow, I really like this color. If you guys didn't know, purple is actually my favorite color, so it's really cool to see on an urchin with the red. That is beautiful. We'll definitely leave that there. Okay, this one is called a, this is the exact same one as this. And it was again found in Scotland and it was netted at five meters below. So we'll leave him right there. Okay, let's in this one. Ooh, this, you guys know, I like my Murex. And this is actually my favorite type of Murex. This is a Murex pectin. And it actually has its operculum as well. It's fallen out of there because it was just attached to the cotton. But this one is a very, very good condition. As you can see, I can't even see any breaks in any spines, which is really, really nice. I'll grab my one down for you and we'll compare its size. Let's see which is bigger. That one is indeed bigger. This one here that we just got today. Very cool. I really love the Murex pectin. They're really nice. We'll put mine back up here. This is all my Murex up here. Minus uh, one, yeah, just one, oh no, two down in here. But they're my collection. We're not looking at that today. So we'll add him right there. Will he stand up? He will stand up. So let's read out its little name tag. This is a Muricidae, of course, Murex pectin. It was found in the Philippines again on sand at 80 meters below. That is very cool. That's probably the deepest shell we've got so far. Okay, this one looks small. Looks like another urchin. There are a lot of urchins in this beginning of the unboxing, but this one is really, really, I call this one a, a rich urchin 
Because it looks as if it would be from a rich person's house. Because it looks kind of fake, to be honest. But it is definitely not. But it is just perfect. And it looks really, really nice. This one, wow. This one's a deep boyo. This is a... I'm going to try and say every single one. So this is a Temnopluridae. Temnopluridae. I think that's correct. And this was found in the Philippines again. And trawled at 200 to 300 meters below. So that is now the deepest boyo of the bunch. Okay, what's in this one? Oh my goodness, we have another urchin. But this one, sea boobies. <laughs> Check all those boobies out. <laughs> I love that one. It's got a tag for it again. It's got two actually. One would have been for the, uh, what is it? Okay, I believe that one is for that. And then this one is a... I believe it is a Sidaridae, Sidaridae, I don't know, Kidaridae, I don't know. Philippines and found at five meters. That one's really cool. I really like this one here. Tons of boobies on it. You can almost see through the uh, texture here. Very, very cool. We'll move this box over down here. Oh, okay. Now this one, I saw it when I opened the box. You guys know I love purple, so this shell here is definitely my favorite so far, just because of the galaxy purple color. It's exactly my favorite color, so that one is very cool. It's gonna be the same as these two urchins here, I guarantee it. Let's check. Yes, it was found in Scotland, Echnidae, I think, uh, and it was found five to 10 meters deep, so that one's very, very nice. Now, I did see quite a few of these that are on top here, including this one when I first opened the box. Now, I bought my first one of these about a week and a half ago, and I actually did an unboxing video on it as well. As you can see, it is right behind us here in my case. A bit smaller than this one, but these ones are quite rare, actually, because I believe you can only find them in one part of the world, and... They are quite deep. So yeah, this one was found at 100 to 150 meters deep. That is far. A meter is about this long. So imagine diving down that far. You would definitely need scuba equipment and I don't even know if then you could dive that far because that's very, very far. But next up we have one of these guys. I got no idea what this thing is called, but I have found one and it is right here in my cabinet. It is probably half this size. I've never seen one this big. This one is really nice. It has its operculum as well. That makes it much more desirable. Really, really nice pattern on that. I like those ones. So this one is called a Simatide. It was found at the Philippines in Bohol Island. And it was found 40 meters below on sand. So that one is very interesting. There we go. Let's put that one there. Okay, what else do we have? Now this one is very interesting. You might be able to see it sticking out through the top there. Can you tell me what it is just by looking at the top? Comment down below guys, don't cheat. Okay, here we have a giant spindle shell. I really like this spindle because of its long tail. Now obviously it's not the biggest shell, spindle shell I've seen because I have a giant one here but it is definitely very, very cool. And uh, it does have its operculum, which is also very, very unique. And it has its label here. So this is called a Fascio Laridae. I'm gonna say that. And it is from Noco, Noc, no, I don't know, Noc, no can, no, no can, I don't know, in the Philippines. And it was found on sand at 40 meters below. I really like that. That is very cool. I'm going to need to know how much that is because I like it. Okay. Alrighty, so next shell up we have a Wentel Trap. Let's move that way out of the way. We have a Wentel Trap here. If you guys didn't know, I bought a gigantic one also a couple of weeks ago. I'm kidding. It was like a week ago apparently. But this one, it is... Wow, this was found at 200 meters in depth that's pretty crazy again in the philippines this one looks to be about i'd say 40 millimeters long or four centimeters 
So that one is very cool. Don't forget, I will be putting all of these shells up for sale on my website, shellcade.com. If you want to check that out. Okay, what do we have here? We have a, oh, it's a long boy. A long Triton boy. Can you, can you tell what this one is? If you can, comment down below your guess. Don't cheat though. Okay, I do have one of these. I do. Uh, but I'm not sure exactly what it's called. I just called it, uh, it an elongated Triton. That's what I call it. But it is from the Ranelidae family and it is a Simatium Lotarium. I think that's it. And it was actually found on shallow water on sand. So this one is really, really nice. Pretty much all these shells are gym condition. That's what pretty much makes them uh, specimen shells as well as having their own little label on them. Okay, next one. We have one wrapped up here. Check this one out. I think I might need the scissors. Keep pause it. The scissors now, I do not want to rip into any of these ones as I do not want to break them. But check this one out. I love the spikes on these, uh, what are they, scallops I would call them. I do also have one of these for myself. It is a giant one behind me right here. You can see that, very, very cool. I really like these ones. And if I'm correct, they can actually open. Check that out. I, I really like this one actually because check out all those little spikes if you can see them on the camera. I'm just touching with my finger here. Really, really cool condition. Check out the back of this. Very, very cool. Awesome, I really like those ones. Super unique. Okay, what is this one here? What is it? Ooh, okay. This one's gonna be exciting. I actually haven't had any uh, Triton shells on my website for sale. Okay, so let's get into this one. We have to be very gentle with this one because I guarantee this Triton shell is worth a lot of monies. This is my first unboxing of a Triton shell. You can see it there. Oh, my goodness, it is very heavy actually. Where is the little note for him? Did it come with a note? Or is it this one? Oops, he's fine. Maybe I'll lie him down because I do not want him falling. Was it this one? Does it say, uh, what does it say? No, it's not that one. So that one does go with him. So where is his little paper? It's probably somewhere in the box. That's okay, I'll look for it later. But really, really fantastic one. It is actually very heavy. I'd say this one here weighs more than my giant one up there. Check out the uh, quality of the, the mouth lines here. Really, really nice quality. Really nice tip. It's just perfect all around. Definitely one of the best I've ever seen so far. Okay, we have a few left. Let's check it out. Oh, I think that's it there. The uh, label, is it? Spondulus. No, that one's for this one then, because it does look like a scallop. Let's move these scissors here. We'll find it. I'm sure it's in there. Oh, it is taped again. Let's open him up. Okay. Look at that. That one might be nicer than the other one. It is a tad smaller. I can already tell. But... I, I really do like the color of these ones. Check out that super thin spine there. And again, this one can open. I really like the opening clams. I bet you guys do as well. Really, really interesting those ones are. Again, this one was found only at five meters in depth. That is really, really cool. Okay, it looks like we have one or two or three more in here. This one is, oh, okay, this one's the Triton. So this is a Charonia. Varigata, I think, and it was found in Haiti uh, on a coral reef. It doesn't say how far down, so that is cool. Really, really like the uh, structure of this one too. Okay, no idea what's in here. It is really well wrapped. Let's check it out. Looks like a long boy. Okay. Ah, I know what this is. Okay, this is a scorpion spider conch, or a lambia, lamb, uh, lambus scorpius. 
So I do have some of these on my website for sale already, but this one is a specimen. So this one is gem condition and it has all of its information on it. That's what makes all these shells special compared to any others. So that's really nice. All of its arms are actually perfect as well. See how they all go the exact same direction. That is really nice. So we'll set him down right there. Very cool. Okay, we have one more in the bag here and then another one down there wrapped in bubble wrap. Let's check it out. Okay, we have a cone shell. I did not even know these ones actually exist. I've personally never seen one of these in my life and I have no idea what it is. Obviously, it's some sort of conus. Uh, conus flocatus. Flocatus. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's it. It was found on sand in the Philippines at 40 meters deep. Really, really nice. I'd say that's a solid like 60 millimeters long. Really, really cool. I actually like the patterns on that. It's got like veins, end spots. That is really nice. Okay, last one in the box, I believe. Full of these square things. Really, really good packaging. Okay, it's wrapped up. What do you guys think this is gonna be? Comment a guess down below. It looks to be some sort of Murex. It is a Murex. This one is cool, yo. Check that out, man. It's got its operculum as well. Look at that twirl going around the entire shell of its spines. Wow. What do you think of that one? Cool. cool. That might be my favorite shell in the entire box. Um, mainly because I love the Murex. And I have actually never seen one quite like that. That is really interesting. What's its info? So this is a Muricidae, of course, and it's a Chicharos chick, uh, Chicarium. Chicharos Chicarium. It was found in Non Ocean and it, no, Nonacan. I think that's it. And it is in the Philippines. So that is everything for this mystery box. This was a $1,500 mystery box. Really, really cool. I would definitely say my favorite one would have to be, it really might have to be the sea boobs right here, or, oh look, I see spindles a lot. I do really like the spindles, but again, I have never seen an urchin quite like this, or quite as fragile as that, to be honest. Really, really cool uh, variety today. That one went there, didn't it? That one went there. Try not to mix these up. Or the Triton. The Triton is definitely a very, very cool addition today because it is really heavy and really thick. I really like it. That is very cool. Comment down below what your favorite shell was in this unboxing. And if you want to buy any of these shells, they'll be up on my website from now uh, for sale. And yeah, that was a really interesting unboxing. I hope you guys did enjoy. Thank you guys so much.